everybody, my expect the comics, and I'm back. Uh, this time with a fun haul, I ended up um, going to a comic shop down in uh, Kingston, Kingston, Rhode Island, South Kingston, I believe, or North Kingston, don't really remember. Um, it's a great little shop, mo you know, mom and pop shop. You can often get some really nice back issue bins, uh, pickups there. So I uh, ended up getting a nice stack of books. If you want to see what books I got, Stay tuned. Let's get it. All right. Welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I put out new content, you get it out of timely fashion. Um, like I said, I ended up going to this really cool shop. I go there once in a while, maybe like once every few months or so when I have some time because it's a little bit of a drive. It's down in, I think, North Kingston. Um, cool shop, lots of back issue bin stuff. They do have new comics and some wall books and um, ended up getting a nice stack, a nice stack of comics. Um, I did have a video that went up last week it was my uh, reaction video for uh, episode 7 of WandaVision unfortunately Disney took it down because apparently I showed too much content God forbid Um, didn't claim it as my own ownership of the show, you know, it was just my reaction to it, my thoughts, and it was some cool spec stuff on it, so, unfortunately, you know, the subscribers missed out on that, so, it is what it is. I'm gonna try to do another one this weekend, uh, not put as much, you know, recorded content on there and see how that goes, so, um, stay tuned for that. There is also... Um, an auction coming up on Thursday on Steve's channel, uh, Burke, Fa Burke 54 Family Comics. If uh, you guys have some time, check out that. There's going to be some nice books. And uh, if I have a chance, I'll jump on there and sell some books as well. So um, more on that later. So I ended up picking up a nice stack of books. Like I said... Nice stack. Ended up spending, I want to say, around 70 bucks total. Um, he ended up giving me a 20% discount. So um, I did pretty well. So um, in no particular order, I'm just going to start showing some books. Some of these I've already bagged and boarded. Some of them I haven't. Just haven't gotten to them yet. But... Um, the first book, Moon Knight number 29. This is the, I forget what volume this is. I want to say if it's volume 5 or volume 4. I forget offhand. But this is the uh, 1 in 10 uh, Wolverine Thank You Appreciation variant. So this is a cool, uh, I forget who did the art on this cover. But um, I couldn't pass this up. As you can see, it was $5.00. So uh, whenever you can get a, a, a ratio variant for under, you know, for half, I usually recommend it, especially when it's a, it's, it's not a ratio book you often see. This is kind of like a ghost book. Uh, I have never seen this ratio variant before. So uh, for five bucks, I had to pick it up. Next book, um, been slowly trying to compile the uh, Stephen Platt, Mark Spector Moon Knight run. I think I only have one or two more books left and this was kind of like the big book I hadn't picked up yet. I already have um, the most valuable book and that's the uh, issue 57, the ASM 300 cover swipe, which I think is the nicest one in the whole run. This is the second most uh, desirable one and this is the first Stephen Platt artwork. So you know what that is. This is Mark Spector Moon Knight issue number 55. 
and uh, I picked this up for what I thought was a pretty good deal. This was 30 bucks, so this was just under half of my, um, you know, spent allotment for the whole uh, comic haul. So this was a nice pickup. Um, Condition-wise, it, it's it's a beautiful book. Um, I don't I don't see too much wrong with it. I'll have to take it out and rebag and board it just to make sure, but quickly glancing at it this is a really nice copy all right so next book uh, this is so this was like a, a hot book for a little bit and um, I ended up seeing this uh, another incentive ratio this is the Avengers issue number one uh, part of the heroic age I want to say this is the cameo appearance of um, T'Challa's, I think, daughter or something like that, I forget, uh, from uh, T'Challa and, S and S Storm. I could be wrong on that. I'll have to end up putting the um, the information on the top here. But uh, ended up picking this up. This is the uh, 1 in 15 ratio variant, and they had it at 10 bucks. so I ended up picking this up. This was a nice little, uh, nice little purchase. Um, another book that's getting a little bit of spec and um, I couldn't pass it up for four bucks and this is a force number one there's been a lot of talks of um, them making an all-female related either TV series or um, movie so uh, this is a nice cover and uh, let me see a lot of different characters on here. A lot of, a lot of great characters, you know. And you see uh, She-Hulk there on the front, but you see Spider Woman and um, and Rogue and Captain Marvel. There's so many, even Scarlet Witch there on the side. This is a great book to buy if you can pick this up in your dollar bins, back issue bins. Pick this up. This is a nice spec book. Um, ended up. Oh, sorry. So I had two copies of this. This was the second one. They had two of these 1 in 15 incentive ratios, so uh, there's two two right there. So, nice little pick up there. I was surprised to see two of them. Alright, next book. Um, first time I've seen this in the back issue bins, and uh, this was pretty cheap. This was uh, 6 bucks, And this is Marvel 2-in-1, Thing, and Moon Knight. Um, and I read this. I opened this up the other day and read it. This has also the first appearance of Crossfire, which is this little character right here. A uh, little minor villain, but um, the character played the story well. It was it was actually a, a really good story. And um, as you can tell, it was a Moon Knight and Thing team up, and um, ends up defeating the Crossfire at the end. Um, so it was a nice little story. You can't go wrong with these, um, I want to say this is 40 Sun, is this Bronze Age? Yeah. Bronze Age uh, goodness, so uh, nice book. First time getting it in the collection. All right, um, I talk about this this series quite a bit. This is one of my heavy speculated series from the '90s, and uh, it's starting to starting to piece together a little bit. If you watched a little bit of Wandavision this past week, um, we got a little bit of the Darkhold, and uh, and obviously the whole supernatural going into it. So, um, whenever you see these, I highly recommend you pick them up. This is from The Rise of the Midnight Suns. This is Ghost Rider, issue number 28, uh, part one of six. I recommend getting the whole six issues. It's, it's a nice, nice read. And uh, if you're not familiar with it, this is the first Lilith, first meat market. There's a bunch of first appearances. Um, I think it's mainly because it's the first Lilith. That this is um, a nice, you know, nice book to spec on. It's uh, like a ten to fifteen dollar book. I got this for four bucks. But um, if you see those in the back issues, pick them up. And uh, there's also the newsstand, which is a little bit harder to find. So the other one I found was issue number thirty-one, and this is the first full appearance of the Midnight Suns. I think this is also a nice book to spec on. So I picked this up also for $4. Uh, next book, I was surprised to see this book there. This was um, 
Marvel Spotlight from Volume 2, Captain Universe, right here on the cover. So Marvel Spotlight issue number 9. This book was hot for a little bit, I want to say a few months back with the whole uh, Donny Cates, King in Black storyline. A lot of people thought that um, Mr. E, which is I think this character right here, was going to appear in uh, King in Black. We still haven't seen the character, but um, it's also the first appearance of the second Captain Universe. Is this character right here. Um, if you read King in Black issue number four, there was a little bit of a spoiler there at the end that they thought was going to be the, um, is it the God of Light? And they teased it to be Captain Universe. Whether or not it's the first version or the second version, we'll have to find out in uh, issue five. But this book may go back up again. And I uh, picked this up for five bucks. So, uh, not bad. Reload. All right. <laughs> so, uh, next book. Um, they had this for a little bit, the whole um, Thor, Eric Masterson, Thunderstrike uh, spec coming out after they showed the leaked photos for the Thor Love and Thunder with um, or Thor wearing that new costume. So then I started looking around for some other spec Thor books in the you know late 300, 400 issues. And um, I found this one, this is Thor issue number 432. So this is the first appearance of Eric Masterson as the second Thor. Um, so not bad, and it's also the uh, celebrating, it's a giant size, so it's celebrating 350 you know, uh, appearances of Thor. So, not bad for four bucks to spec on. And we're getting down to the last two books. <clears throat> I'll save the banger for last. Because you won't believe me when I show it. So, um, there was a little bit of spec on this when they announced recently that the Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur series is going to be having a villain, uh, I believe. The voice actor is going to be by Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, I'm not, if I, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong on that one. But um, he's going to be voicing the Beyonder, which is one of my favorite villains from the 80s. Plays into the Secret Wars. It's the Secret Wars, Volume 2, Issue Number 3. First appearance of the Beyonder. First full appearance of Beyonder. Um, this book is dirt cheap right now. And... Uh, He's like a big, big villain in the Marvel uh, Universe. It's like power level, big, way up there. Um, really cool story. If you haven't read this, highly recommend the story on it. And the whole Secret Wars story in general it is a great, great read. So for five bucks or less, I can't go wrong with that. And uh, the last book we're going to save, best for last. I was not even looking for this book at all. It was not on my radar whatsoever. But when I found this in the uh, back issue bin, I could not pass this up. This is like one of those books like you see and it was like, this is really in the back issue bin? You're kind of like scratching your head. Like maybe the shop owner didn't know what he had. It's a gorgeous cover, first off. And this is Bloodstone issue number one. First appearance of Elsa Bloodstone. Really cool cover. This is the, uh, I don't know if there's multiple print. This is the first print. And um, so if you're not familiar with Elsa Bloodstone, this book is gathering a ton of heat. And um, I paid $4 for this book. Crazy. This book is going to get pressed and it's going to get sent out to uh, CGC. But this was my super hot find in the back issue bins. So that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And uh, most importantly, until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.